Having the one and no mentality uh, throughout the whole game, um, and having an optimistic mindset, something good is about to happen. And that was the biggest thing when we try to like refocus on, as we get off the field. Just having an optimistic mindset, just just trying to approach each play, um, just going one and no mentality wise. Dylan, what are your thoughts on the defense's performance tonight? Um, I'm talking about team. That's that's very important, you know, especially when you can lean on each other throughout a whole football uh, football game. Proud of those guys for the grit, the determination, and how hard they play together. Um, it's definitely something that we can, uh, you know, get our fuel off of and how well they play. So I'm super proud of them. What was it like at halftime? What was the message from the coaching staff? Um, I think it was just refocusing. Just, we can't get those plays back. It's all about uncontrollables, controllables. We can control how we approach the field um, as we got out of halftime. So that was like the biggest thing. It's all about refocusing. Kalen, when you guys, you guys pulled ahead at the end, what did you learn about your team with the way you guys finished? Um, we learned that <clears throat> you don't win a game in one quarter, two quarter, three quarter. You win in, 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 in all four phases. So um, just see, see the guys just have tremendous grit and pull out a win like that. Um, just shows the toughness and the want to um, in a sense. So I'm just proud of those guys for the hard work they kept on back in, um, you know, throughout the whole game. And you yep. have grit too, you know, Ryan Williams with that big touchdown catch at the end of the game. Just to have that used and just that connection between you guys, what does that mean? It goes all about practice reps and repetition. Um, I think that's a big, you know, key component when it comes to playing on Saturdays. Is, is the reps during the week, um, and it factors into you know how well he plays and how confident he is as a player. And so, you know, when we have moments like that, we can di distribute the ball to our playmakers. Um, it's all about trust and then um, falling back to our level of training. And I saw you talking to Coach DeBoer at the end of the third quarter. What was his message going in there for you guys offensively? Biggest thing was one to know. Um, Flipping the page on each drive, even when we had touchdowns, the next play, the next play, the next play, having an optimistic mindset throughout the whole game. Um, so it was awesome to just have the feedback with him throughout the whole game. Um, and he's just a key resource for our offense moving forward. You have Tyler Booker on your shirt. Just how big was he moving to left tackle for this one? No, absolutely. That's my guy. Um, you know, Tyler does a really good job, really, really good job um, influencing the guys in the room. He's a tremendous leader. He has tremendous grit. He plays hard. He has a lot of effort. He has a lot of pride when he plays. Um, but you know, when he plays, man, he just he just um, is a positive light to our whole, all the guys on offense. And his leadership is just growing tremendously throughout the off season, and then influencing going into um, the season. So I'm just proud of him with who he is as a person, um, how great of a teammate it is, and you know, I just enjoy just having him as uh, my teammate. How do you feel the offense has progressed the two games? Where do you feel you guys are at? Um, we're not a finished product. There's, there's so much more we can grow and become as an offense. Um, but one thing is for certain is just the tremendous growth that um, we continue to make each and every week. And it's going to be um, evident as we go on this process and as we go on this process of a season. So, um, you know, I'm definitely um, excited for what the future holds on offense, but we just acknowledge that we're not a finished product. We just have to have that relentless pursuit to continue to improve. Can you walk us through the touchdown of Kobe Francis, what you were saying? Um, it was all about trusting the scheme. Um, when the play call was came in, it was all about going through my reads and being a point guard with the football, just distributing to our playmakers. And so, um, you know, it's all about stepping up in the pocket, reading the scheme um, properly, and then distributing to Kobe. And he did a really good job just um, doing the rest of the play. Yeah, this is my first play runs for you. You know, you didn't, it didn't count because it got called back for. But just to be able to trust your feet and also the ability to be able to grow in the air. I mean, how are you maybe battling and overcoming that? I think um, what's so important is the confidence level. No matter what play it is, having an optimistic, optimistic mindset when it, when the um, signal is called in, whenever the play is called in, um, throughout the whole game. You know, no matter what the play is, it's all about the confidence level that we can execute the play at the highest level to the best of our ability. And that goes into the run scheme, that goes into the passing scheme. Um, no matter what it is, just that confidence level um, whenever we approach the field. So that's very important for us as a whole offense when it, moving forward as we go along these, um, this season. Jalen, for you personally, what's going to be your point of emphasis this week in practice? That's a really good question. I think the biggest thing is flipping the page, you know, enjoying the win. Um, Every win is not easy. You know, it's hard to win um, a football game. So number one, you know, enjoy the win, but reflect, reflect, build, um, and acknowledge, you know, there's rooms to grow, rooms to improve as a quarterback, improve as a leader. Um, so I just have an open heart, open mindset when it comes to um, just trying to be a better player um, for our football team. Cause that's the most important thing. How can I 
look in the mirror and reflect and build for the guys in the locker room.